What's up? You guys must be here for the upper ass chicken in my video. Let's get into it. What's up guys, if you're here checking out this video, you probably have an FA20 with a check engine light on. We are going to go over a common fix for the P0016 through P0019, so let's check it out. This car in particular had a P0018 bank 2 camshaft crankshaft correlation. Pretty common guys, like I said, do the diag, but normally this is going to be a bad gear. First things first, we got to get that annoying front timing cover off. Make sure that you guys get all of the bolts off because if you leave any in there, you have the potential to crack that timing case. Uh, and also, guys, make sure that you get all that fippage off of there. We don't want any leaks when these things come back. So if you look at the gears here, you'll see that I have them set up on the right bank, which is going to be bank one, pointing at each other and on the opposite side they're going to be facing a different direction it is imperative that you set these up properly before you take them off i've highlighted the arrows for you guys to make it a little easier to see you also notice that those gears are actually marked where they go which makes it very easy to install these so like i said guys looking at this bank which is going to be your bank two driver side bank you can see that the gears are not pointing at each other but they're actually facing away from each other and there's two little notches there on the gear and they're almost going to line up when you have this correct. I do an in-depth video on this so if you guys need more information I'll leave a little header up there that way you can click on that link and I go over the whole timing from top to bottom. So now we're going to need to grab our handy dandy E16 reverse torque socket here and that is going to be what the bolts are held on with there are three bolts holding that gear on so no big deal here guys we're gonna yank those three bolts off and we're gonna go ahead and pull that gear off the beautiful thing about these timing gears is they don't lock like some of the older Toyota VVTi gears so you don't have to actually take the camshaft out get air to them and try to unlock them you just have to uninstall them and reinstall them and then obviously time the motor correctly so these are kind of wonderful you do want to make sure that you torque the bolts down and obviously don't leave them loose. Uh, I do orientate the gear in such a way that when I pull it off, putting the new one on just goes right back on and you can feel it snap in uh, so you'll know when you have the position there. So that's pretty simple. Slap the new gear on there. There it is with the new gear installed. And like I said, these gears are marked. so they'll say left hand or right hand intake or exhaust they have them everything set up so now all that's left is just to throw this thing back together put all the chains on and uh, get this thing running so hopefully this video helped you if it did hit that like and subscribe button for me guys and like I said if you need to know how to set the timing like if you've never done it or maybe you're having some issues or you just want to double check yourself I'm going to leave a link at the very end of this video to another video that I did, and it goes over the timing from top to bottom. Uh, it, anybody could set the timing with this video. It's pretty great. So hopefully, uh, like I said, this helped you. Hopefully you guys get your FRS fixed. Um, if you guys have any questions, obviously hit me up in the comments. I usually respond pretty quickly. And so that's what it's going to look like all back together. We'll throw the timing cover back on this thing and uh, get some oil in it, get some cooling in it, and get it out of here. Now, I will let you guys know, in the repair manual, this is about a 4.1 hour job, and it can be done in the car. The worst part of this uh, is gonna be dropping the exhaust down. So with the exhaust installed 100%, you can't get the timing cover off, so all you have to do is loosen the bolts and let it kinda hang down, and then you're able to access those bolts and get that front cover off of there. Uh, it's not too bad in the car. I would say if you're doing this at home, it's probably going to take you all of three or four hours, uh, depending on how many, how much tools you guys have, like as far as air tools or, you know, if you're doing everything by hand, it's obviously going to take a little longer and, uh, depending on your experience. So like I said, if you guys need any help, definitely hit me up in the comments and uh, definitely hit that like and subscribe button for me guys.